Our verse for today is taken from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 3, verse 13. It reads, He went up the mountain and called to him those whom he wanted, and they came to him. This passage is taken from the narrative of Jesus' appointment of the twelve. The text begins with reference to Jesus going up the mountain and summoning those he wanted, and they followed him. Here, we have two elements for reflection. The first, the art of going up to the mountain, and the second, the summoning of those he wanted. Jesus going up to the mountain gives us opportunity to offer some theological reflections on the nature of mountains as one of the wonders of creation. The mountain is a place of encounter with God. Here, one opens himself or herself to things of the divine. In the Old Testament, references to mountains highlight the issue of God's presence. It is an elevated ground with steep sides that makes it a little difficult to walk on. Thus, to climb a mountain, time and effort is required. The emphasis on time and effort introduces the difficult but persistent approach we need in order to mediate God's presence and help in our lives. In the story of Jesus and the call of the twelve, Jesus goes up to the mountain for prayer to seek the face of God the Father. The mountain is also a site of significant event because it is by going up the mountain that Jesus called to himself those whom he wanted and they came to him. Jesus called us eternal autos whom he himself wished. The pronoun whom is emphatic as it indicates that those who came to Jesus at that moment are those whom he wanted, and they came to him. They have come, not of their own accord, but in accordance with Jesus' desire. It is a significant moment in Jesus' mission, the selection of the twelve. The purpose of going to the mountain then is to seek the face of God, the Father, and to discern in a spiritual moment the election of the first twelve that will be associated with himself in his mission, and to act as messengers in the work of proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God and healing of the sick. The close connection between the movement to the mountain and the summoning of the disciples reflects the need of prayer of close moments with God before we can embark on important mission in our lives. When we take this special moment to spend time with God, God reveals his glory to us. He transforms us and he moves us in faith to take actions that can only be accomplished by the grace of God. With the words of prophet Micah, chapter 4, verse 2, I conclude this reflection. Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways and that we may walk in his paths. I pray God to continue to show us his face whenever we call on him, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Shalom.